Hello guys and gals and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 map review. Now, this is going to be a map I've already reviewed once, but he's updated some things, so stick around. I'll be right back. Okay, guys and gals, this is, again, Wild West 16X version 1.3. He did some changes to this map, and we're going to go over it. Actually, I'm just going to do a complete review of this map, because he's done a lot of changes. Uh, the house has changed, I think. Yeah, the house has changed. It's similar to what it was, but it has changed. Garage is, which was over here. Which is now over there, but let's walk around the house. You got some stairs. A little back porch here. You, now you can't open the doors. You got a little back porch here. You got a cellar door. You can't open that. You got another doorway. That can't open that. You got a little playground. We got our chickens, which are right here. And all that. We got the front of the house. This is, it's not, this looks a little bit more worn. Now you do still have a two car garage. You come over to here. And you can open those three doors. Uh, these two doors, excuse me. And then I guess you can park your mo mower or another car in here if you wanted to and have that. And all you have to do is come over here, click to close it, and click to close it. And that's it. And we have a little place to store, I guess, the firewood or if you want. The lawnmower or something like that in there. Now, he did add this. A little outdoor campfire fire pit. So you can grill some stuff, have some smoke. Uh, or just sit out here at nighttime and watch the fire. We'll come down the road here. And he's kind of changed the buildings around. He Took out a couple buildings and just relayed everything. So what we start here, this is still your repair garage. And that's one of the tractors that you get. We'll go over that. He added this here. So you got another place to store vehicles under cover. This is still the same where we got most of your implements. Right here. Got a flag. And I'm like for him to do the North Carolina flag for me and I in a fire department flag or EMS flag that I can put next to all that. That you rode out. He's added this. So you got a little storage area. You got some more tractors. You got this truck, Mack truck with the American flag. I'm surprised it doesn't have a New Zealand flag, but I guess we're in America. Now, this is a new barn that he has developed. And as you can see, you can store through store stuff in here and your large equipment. Here's combine, the thrasher, and the corn attachments. And he actually made it drivable. So you can drive right through. Park your equipment, it's a lot easier than trying to back everything up. Still have the same silo right here. Now, if you're playing this in manager mode or higher, I'll, I've made a video on how to remove all these fences, and I'll put a link in the upper right-hand corner right now on that. But we still have our... Um, yeah, mm hmm yeah, Well, I think this is your sheep field. That's your hogs there. Let's see, what's this? Yeah, this is your sheep field. 
You hop in over here. You get your horse paddy paddock over here, I think. Yeah, this is horse. And then you come on this side, this is your cow. You got the big cow barn with the automatic doors and everything. That's where you get your milk and all that mumbo jumbo. Like milk here. And I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Okay. Get your milk here. You can buy the cows here. Cows go in here. Nice and easy. Everything's so nice. Neat. You put you can drive your trucks through here, drop off the hay or whatever you have here. Hay and straw, I think, is what you need here. And just drive on through. I don't know what this is. Let's see. Won't let it let me activate it. But you have more doors over here. This is your mineral where you put your mineral. And then we have the automatic robot where you put your stuff here and you go from there. Now he's also added he did this in an earlier update, but he added a TMR mixer on this side. He's added a pig food mixer on this side. And then we have fermenting silo where you can dump your grass in here. And we'll ferment it and turn to silage, and then you got your stuff that you need to do. So he's added that. The other thing he has added, and I don't know why this hit that, is we go to the map. Now we, we're here on the map. You can see the map really hasn't changed. You still have the field 17, which is the largest. Um, if we go here, X, how much is that? Uh, value is 24636490 dollars and it doesn't say how much, but we'll get out of this mode. But you got a large map, 16x, so six, 16 times, well, main, main maps are 4x, so this is 16 times. So you got a large area. This yellow going around is the highway. This is your farm here. And we got some other things. You do own field seven. And this is your farm and field 11. And we'll get out of there. But if we take a look at the crop types, we still have olives, popular grapes on this side. He's added all that grass, radish seeds, and all that. He, you now have peanuts, mustard, cranberry, hemp, carrots, blueberries, and coffee. So we got these are all the fruit types now available in Farming Simulator 22. And of course, they'll probably be adding more, and he'll update the map as he always do. As he always does. So, take a fly around the map. I'm going to speed things up. There we go. On going. As you can see, that's field eight. And this is field seven. You own this. And this is field 11. This is the ones that you do own. Go down the street and make a left here. And this is your shop where you buy your equipment. And all that. And he has lots of areas that you can do placeables in. You got your hay sales there. You got a lot of placeable areas around this map.
especially around town. You got some placeable areas. Uh, factories you can buy, silos you can buy. You have a river that goes around this farm. Uh, that goes around. Uh, actually, this divides these two sections. I'm sorry. You can see. Here you got a highway system that you can actually drive up and down. And as edge of the map, this is field 17. And I'm just gonna speed things up and we're just gonna go all the way down there. And yes, yeah, so there's some more placeable areas. Lots of placeable areas. That's one thing I like about his maps. He he puts in areas so you can place do your placeables if you want. If you've got a mod that is placeable that you want to play with, he has an area big enough for it. And we'll just go down. We'll go around the highway over here. Is another placeable area and a huge tree section for logging and some sail points down there. He has lots of sail points. You could use this area as a place to you know, put a storage barn or something over here, store your equipment. So up to this side and we'll just continue going down around the map. And we have another placeable area here. I think we got a cell point here too. But I'm just going to continue on. There's the highway. We're going to go down this road. Another huge placeable area. Water tower. Lots of fields. Lots of fields. He has a huge, huge fields, as you can see. Ah, this used to be a placeable area. He's now turned into a field. Okay, but we're still going down the highway. Yes, this is a field. Yep, yeah, this is a field. And we have a port over here with some ships and stuff like that. And we're at the edge of the map now. And this this kind of goes down and around. Another um cell point here. Cell points here. And as you can see, this is a huge map. And a very huge map. Got some more. Oh, we've already seen this. So we got some pretty good stuff. Back here at the farm. Have a look at the farm and I'll just hop in a vehicle. And we'll go ahead and hit P and we'll take a look at the equipment that you start off with. We have a trailer and a water tank. We got a medium tractor. We got three large tractors. We got a Mack truck. We got a Chase um, harvester. We have a Telus front end loader. We got a couple trailers. We have a August auger wagon, header, corn row, plow, cultivator, cedar, planter. We have a fertilizer spreader. We have a mower attachment. We have tenders. We have windrow. We have a grass picker up or a forage wagon. 
We have a baler. We have attachments for the telescope. And then we have the trailer for the thing. So that's what he's added. That's what he's done. Let's just go up. And you can see that this map is big. Got a nice air farm area. And if you start off with manager mode or higher, you don't get these buildings. And again, I'll, there's, I'll put a link to the video I made on how to get rid of these fence posts so you can do what you do to your heart's content. So this has been the Wild West 16X map version 1.3 review of the map. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up. That way I can tell Chaz you all like it. So make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment. I'm also going to put a link to Chaz's Facebook group where you can join and find out what he's doing. They, it's a nice community. And I'll put a link for that down below in the description too. There's a link for this map down below in the description. And it is on Papa Smurf's link. Uh, Papa Smurf's modding site. It doesn't cost you anything to join, but you have to join to be able to download. But it doesn't cost you a dime. And it's a nice community to check out too. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and bell. That way you know when the latest videos I do come along and when I go live here on YouTube. Also do me a favor, hit that like button. Every like I get gets this channel seen a little bit more, which helps grow this channel. And I would really appreciate that. And as always, have fun playing your games. Be safe out there in the world. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.